Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Coffee Vodka Podcast. I'm your host, Dre, joined here by the one and the only... Ah, Christopher! Woo! Hey, man. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> uh, Chris, something's a little different about this one. Yeah. A little different. Could you? Would you mind telling me what it is? I, I have no idea. I can't see you. You can't see me? No. Chris, I can't see you. That might be a good thing. Have I got... <laughs> 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 my life is worse because of it. Oh, you <laughs> miss me? <laughs> yeah, I The miss sound it. of my voice doesn't soothe you enough? It's just not enough. Well, it is not enough. Man. Uh, it makes me feel good inside. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, anyways, guys, have you has probably noticed? I would imagine you have. We are back to audio. Mm-hmm. We're going back to Spotify and YouTube. I mean, we're uh, no, like we're we're still on YouTube. We're yeah. still on YouTube. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you gotta worry <laughs> about that. But it's just you can't see our beautiful faces right now. We're sorry to break your heart about this, but you know now it feels weird. I don't got used to being on camera. So yeah, but. I'm like animating my arms and everything. Like. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, but it, this is this is good though. I like this. I've always been more comfortable like this. Absolutely. I feel like I had to put on an act. Oh yeah. <laughs> I had to sit up straight. Had to do the right thing. Had to wear right stuff. Had Fuck, I'm over in my pajamas right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, we're big chilling right now. Yeah. I'm not in my my, my beautiful black pants. That mm. everybody knows. Yeah, no black. He's got black shorts, but no like black shirt like you're normally used to seeing. No, I'm, a, I'm in a fairly bright shirt, you to be are honest. You're feeling, feeling bright today, We're sir. bold today, Christopher. Oh, I'm glad to see it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah, guys, we wanted to make the switch. We just like doing this a lot better. It's a lot easier to. It's still going to be just as much fun, Just and I, I hope you all enjoy it. This oh, way. Yeah. yeah. We're d- we're just as stupid. Let us know. You just can't see the us. stupidity. Yeah, it shows enough. You just <laughs> you listening to it. <laughs> it shines <laughs> enough, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah. But anyways, I guess we can go back to, to go to the original episode. Yeah. But one thing, Chris, mm-hmm. you motherfucker. <laughs> uh, there is something that I have been simmering on since the last episode. The and last. E- so something I did the last you episode. Did, you said it was a very hurtful gesture. Really? Um, you I have tried n- writing it down multiple times. Oh. Nothing I could ever write could uh, properly explain how I truly feel, so I'm going to speak from the heart. I feel like this is going to be like a love story or something. You'll see. <laughs> so in the last episode, episode 19, you declared that Credence, that Credence Clearwater Revival was better than the Beatles. Oh, yeah. yeah. You said oh, that man. they were fucking better oh. Than the Beatles. Oh, man. I, okay. I'll let you finish, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting me have this. Um, I would like to tell you, you're wrong. So you've been sitting on this for a while. I would like, I'm not done. I'm not done, young man. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sir. <laughs> uh, not only are you wrong, your opinion is dumb. The Beatles are... It, it is... It, it is inconceivable how you would ever believe that Credence Clearwater Revival is somehow fucking better than the Beatles. I don't understand. It. I. I, I have no respect for you anymore. <laughs> I. Man, I am here simply because this is a hobby. This is. A I don't care about you anymore, Chris. You have broken my heart in many different ways, and I don't think it'll ever be prepared. The Beatles. Are wonderful. <laughs> I would kiss every single one of them if I had the chance to. Are you done, sir? In conclusion, <laughs> fuck you. I made you that mad. At yeah, <laughs> I apologize, sir. I no, I do m- not apologize. I am not mad. Okay, I'm hurt. Oh, I'm I disappointed. That that even that's even worse. No. I, I'd rather piss you off than just hurt you. Well, that's a conversation <laughs> you need to have with yourself. That's not a me. Issue, that's a you issue. That's a you shoe, you know? I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels this way, though, Dre. And you know what? Them people are wrong, too. There's people who thought the Holocaust was a good idea. That'll make them right, mm, does it? That's That hurt. That, what? I'm just saying what? it's the How same principle. You? No, not just at all. Just because people agree on something doesn't make it right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> about <laughs> the Beatles or the... G- oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is... I don't know. Why are they so great? Give me, give me, this, tell me in one sentence. Why are they so great? They were the greatest songwriters of all time. The way all they could, time? of all time, the way they could structure songs, the way they could add uh, 
characteristics that nobody else would think of. But just think about music before and after the Beatles. They spawned this huge uh, creation. The, the people weren't afraid to sp- expand their mind. They openly talked about drugs and hmm. all this stuff, the way they would uh, think outside the box to do different melodies, mm-hmm. to do different... They, they would do such weird shit mm-hmm. that was so ahead of their time. Well, clear... Oh, the, the, yeah, the, the they C- played C- cowboy C-C-R. chords. Are, here you go with your hating. Your cowboy hating. I love them. No, 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 uh-huh. no, no, no. Here you go over here. They're playing your cowboy chords. Oh. See, look, look, look. They were doing this before the Beatles actually come out. Over, over that here. Don't mean shit. Over here. And they, and they, yes, they Chris, were doing because they were an American band. They. <laughs> We're an American band. <laughs> we're an American band. And they were doing good, and then the Beatles blew up on them. And like, just oh, blew everybody out oh, them. oh, so the Beatles just so happened to blow them out the water then, because they're so much fucking then, better. What a goddamn coincidence, Chris. That's weird, ain't it? No, not, no, no. That's so no, weird how the all. Beatles just so happened to overshadow your beloved Credence Clearwater. If they come over here on Queen money, they blew up. <laughs> they had all that England money, man. <laughs> it didn't matter if we liked them or not. They were going to shove it down our throats, and they did. See, that's what happened. No, that's bullshit. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck it come from. I, just I had no idea. I was like, oh. Like, oh, conspiracy time. <laughs> I was, no, I'm here for a good conspiracy. If we <laughs> no, got a good just, conspiracy. I, I really was fucking with you. <laughs> Have you heard about the Paul is dead conspiracy theory? The what? Oh, that Paul McCartney is actually dead. You've never heard that? No. So there's a theory that in 64, 60, no. So it's been out for a while. 65, 66. Yeah, it's been out. uh, That the real Paul McCartney actually died. So who's this guy we've been seeing? Well, that he's a lookalike. And that the Beatles, so the theory is that. So he's living his life, though? Yes. He took on his name and he took on everything. And that, um, that like management, they was like, they couldn't, because how much money they were making off the Beatles, Mm -hmm. they wouldn't afford to lose them. So, and, and and there's hints throughout the Beatles catalog in an album cover, in songs, and in interviews. So how do you, oh so how do you feel about this conspiracy? Do you agree or do you think? I, I d- okay. Do you so, feel that your beloved Beatles would lie to you this whole time? Oh, absolutely, they would. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't believe Paul is dead. But I love the theory. I love it so much, man. Why? Why do you not feel he's dead? Why do you, I think it's some bullshit too? But I, I mean, you, you're telling me you found a person who looks like Paul, Identical. is left-handed like Paul, sings like Paul, plays hey, like Paul. I tell you what, acts like Paul. If th- if I look like Paul and I couldn't do any of that stuff, I'd learn to have all that shit. But <laughs> he has such like weird characteristics, like the when he plays the bass, the way he moves and shit. It's very like I'm sure it's it, changed over the years since he's got older. Oh yeah, he's a little slower now. <laughs> is, he, he's not as active <laughs> as he yeah. used to be. But he, he's probably not doing. Is he still doing shows? Oh yeah. Is he still? Oh, he's still fucking going for it. There's no way it can be like he never took like a big break or any time or like anything. Not as far it. as I'm aware of. Which that alone is impressive. It's like, man, he's he's in his seventies now. He wasn't in his seventies whenever I seen him. Oh, I seen yeah, him I in say, yeah, I bet he's older than that. Yeah, this is tw- 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 yeah, he's yeah, he's in his eighties. He's getting up there, maybe. Right at it, brother. Yeah, I know uh, Ringo Starr. He celebrated his eighty first birthday. Man, that's cool though. You They're know? old. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Is Ringo still doing shit? Yeah, he is. Is he? They're doing their own stuff. They don't ever do stuff together anymore. They never do stuff together. They hate each other that much. No, they actually really like each other. Don't lie, Dre. They don't ever do shows together. Oh, they post together. I, I don't know why they don't do shows together. I would spend so much fucking money. Can you imagine how much that? money they can make if they did it like just got together Man, one but time? But they're fucking loaded. I know they don't care about it, but they could do like some fundraisers or some shit. They need you know? to do something for the fans. I understand. Yeah. I understand being selfish with that shit. It's like your life, do what you want to. I understand the Beatles in the past, yada, 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 yada. Nobody would you know you fans. if it wasn't exactly. for the fucking Beatles. If we, we can just no, have no, two fourths of the Beatles. No, I mean, well, won't they do it for the fans? Is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. The fuck, the fans made them. Yeah. yeah like any band. It's, it's like it's a, you know, I would even go see like the Fab Four. They're a uh, a Beatles tribute band. Oh they yeah. They dress up. It's a little dorky. <laughs> but do they rock it out? Yeah, they absolutely. They learned how uh, to like act like them and, and everything. They sound like them. Really? It's yeah. cool. I mean, yeah, they sound like them. They yeah. sound like a they sound like a cover band of them. I got you. A very good one though. I started to say you. 
apparently they, their name's out there. Yeah, so they're doing something good. I just think it's cool. They're not the only one. There's a couple. They actually do like uh, yeah. they dr- they change the way they dress. Like it depends on what songs they're doing. Like if they dress like old school Beatles, they got like the suit tones. Cool. They do Sergeant Pepper's. They got like the fucking I outfits on. A cover band that actually dresses the part. D- that, yes, that is <laughs> impressive. It's yeah. like man, you are commit. There is uh, a Slipknot cover band. I oh. cannot remember what they called. Good. What they're called. I really haven't listened to them. I just kind of know that they I exist. Think that's cool, you know. I mean, especially. I mean, if if they're catching people's attention, you're doing something. You're, you're yeah, good, you know. And, th- and it's yeah. cool, like especially like the Fab Four. It's like people like me who never even had a chance to see them. We can at least get uh, an idea of exactly. what it was like. And that's cool. Yes, I respect that. Yeah, yeah. like I would love to go see them. Uh, there was a Beatles cover band that was in Branson not too long ago. Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. That'd be that'd be fun to go see something like that. I've never been to Branson. Me neither. You know, Br- Branson's like your country kind of thing, right? Uh, more of a country town. It's a little hick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> would, you go, would you go there just to go watch some stuff, or would it have to be something like the Beatles like that to bring you down there? It, it would have to be like a uh, Beatles like tribute band or some cool shit. You. I'm sure they've had some rock tribute bands down there. Oh, like I'm sure they old have. school eighty bands or something. That'd be cool to see too. Yeah, dude, I want to see. I want to see like fucking. I want to see Dawkin. Dawkin. You don't know who Dawkin is? No. 80, one of the best and underrated <coughs> hair metal bands of all time. They did the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street number five track, which we're the dream warriors. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Don't want to dream no more. That's cool. Hey, well, if they're on the Freddy Krueger movie, I mean. They're fucking good. Yeah, I fucking love Nightmare me some Street, Dawkins. Awesome. I don't get down. Baby Dre grew up a lot on Dawkins. So they have any other, like, that was their big thing, though? Was that their big, that one? big hit? Oh, well, they had, uh, I'm alone again without you. <laughs> nice. Alone again, again without you. It's so fucking oh, I just, tasty. Man, I, I just don't remember. I just check them out. That's oh, cool. we got uh, breaking the chains around you. It's. I love me some Dawkins. I don't think I've ever talked about Dawkins no, to I've you before. No, I've never heard Dawkins. I've never had. I've like, heard the name. That's what. That's really? an odd name, Dawkins. It, it's the. Uh, Guitarist's last name. Really? Yeah. I think. It's somebody's last name in the band. <laughs> That's, cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. What a cool last name. Because it's D-O-K-K-E-N. Hmm. That's a metal ass last name. No wonder why they used it. I am Duckin. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine like, like the principal calling him the class. I am needing uh, Frederick Duckin. <laughs> to come to the elves. <laughs> His name was definitely not Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. That'd be a hard ass name though. I would be. I mean, I don't Frederick. You don't hear a lot of that. You really don't. Frederick Dawkins. That'd be cool. I'd that respect sounds very it. professional. I would time. respect a Frederick Dawkins. He's definitely a manager. Man, you wanna you wanna it could be a strong name, you know? I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh shit. But, Okay, we are in October, Dre. Woo! We're time to get spooky, 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 spooky. Skip it up, up, up. Oh, so what have y'all been doing? I heard you and your uh, wife have been doing some binge watching on some stuff. Yes, we have. Every day so far, we have managed to watch a movie. We, it's been hard to fit in because by the time she gets home, we what don't have much time. movie? Spooky movies. And this is, like you said, you're going to watch a Halloween movie every day this month, right? It ain't got to be specifically Halloween. Uh, it's just got to be s- like scary. horror. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes, fair enough. I thought I was going to burp. I still may. No, it didn't happen. Wow. You mean come around there and pat you on the back? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe <laughs> it may help. <laughs> but yeah, we watched a spooky movie every night. It's, it's been tough to fit it in some nights. Oh, I tell you, it's been a little mm-hmm. tough. Are you like me, kind of get comfy and you kind of deals off a little bit? No, that's Kimberly. Oh. Me, because oh. I, I love watching movies, so I'm sitting there out like I'm enthralled. You don't fall it's asleep? like she broke my heart <gasps> because on my pick, movie night. A real, I've had a hankering to watch Halloween 3. Good old hankering. Wh- oh. Which is... <laughs> Good old I fucking love Halloween 3. I forgot it how much a, I absolutely it loved it. It is a horrifying movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up, Chris. <laughs> Another bad opinion from Chris Tanzel. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's get to you. I love... I forgot how much I actually loved it. Okay. Because it doesn't end on a happy note. So you're saying she fell asleep? Yeah, she fell asleep. Mm. She broke my little heart. Did you wake her up in disappointment? 
No, I just continued to watch it. I looked at her <laughs> and I paused it for a minute, like like for about five minutes. Like, okay, maybe she'll wake up. I tried okay. mo- <laughs> look. I tried moving like I was getting comfy to like you know how like they whoever you're laying on they yeah. move and you wake up a little bit and you're yeah. like oh yeah yeah she did not she was fucking <laughs> out dude was so it I'm like <laughs> oh dude it was a good one so I was like well damn so well, I continued to watch it well, by my lonesome self. Like you would in any other predicament, I would fall asleep. Anybody else would fall asleep in that movie. You know why? Why? Horrible. Not a good spooky movie. Oh, the mask. Oh, I can't get it off. Okay, sorry. Why? Why is it a bad movie, Chris? I just told you. Why? I made it very clear it's horrible. It is not, though. It is so good. And no, it's not. <laughs> you you got to remove it from the fact that it's not Michael Myers, which he does appear in the movie, actually. It should be called Mask or some shit. It's it's called The Season of the Witch. Ain't no fucking witch in it. It's called Halloween The Season Where's the witch? of the Witch. Where's the witch? I really don't know why they <laughs> call it that. See, you can't even defend the own movie you like. It, you it, like this, and you can't even defend it. I'm defending it right now. I fucking love this movie. It's such a good concept, man. There's there's this guy. He's wanting to fucking kill all the children because uh, I think it's Sam Hain, or they call it Samhain. Mm-hmm. Going to sacrifice all these souls, and they're killing all the children mm-hmm. in front of their parents. And I think they're killing the parents, too. Anybody that puts and watches the commercial or whatever the fuck it does, it triggers it. In the yeah. commercial, it triggers it. Yeah, it is. But three more days till Halloween. Halloween no, I watched that whole thing Halloween. just waiting for Michael to come out, like, somewhere. Michael was in there. Yes, he was. How much you want to bet? Where? What do you want to bet? Where was he at? What do you want to bet? Did he kill he was, anybody? He did not. What do you want to bet? What was that he, he doing? Was in just there? sitting back watching the mask do all the I'm, work? Uh, Christopher, you got to answer my question <laughs> I am first. I'm not betting because I'll probably turn this shit off before I even get on. <laughs> <there. laughs> it's whenever the uh, lead guy goes goes to the bar. They they're on the TV screen. It's an ad for uh, uh, Halloween, and oh. it's airing tonight. Halloween. Oh, so it's its own franchise. It, it was showing. It was showing a commercial for the movie in that movie. Yeah, how cool is that? They're they're like, hey, go watch my other movie, bitch. Yeah, because this one sucks balls. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 it was a subtle nod to it. I forgot how much I actually loved Halloween. Which, hey, I'm sorry. Like I, I told him, like he texted me about this. He told me he was watching it. You yeah, te- you said, I did. And I was like, God, it sucks. But I didn't text him and said, I'm going to try to learn to be symp- sympathetic about it, I guess. <laughs> and I have not done it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I I'm respect sorry. it. <laughs> you are your own man, you, and you uh, have d- your own opinions. I will do. I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed your movie, sir. I did. I had a good time by my lonesome self. <laughs> 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 because apparently I'm the only one in this goddamn world who enjoys <laughs> the movie. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if anybody in the audience also enjoys Halloween three, please let me know. Please, <laughs> we can start like a group chat, and we can be the one. And you maybe have one more go up somewhere. Surely there's gonna be another weird person. Surely there's gonna be, they're gonna be weird too. <laughs> like I already know it. Well, okay. Besides that, though, have you watched any other good Halloween movies? We watched, uh, or just scary movies? Just scary movie. Ooh, we watched The Witch. That's a good ass movie. The Witch. I What's that about? It's good. It's like the settlement back in like in the eighteen hundreds in like New England. Oh, that like, sounds cool. See, I like shit like that. Like the Salem witch. Yeah, yeah, but, that's but, cool. But they're not in Salem. I forgot exactly where they're at. It may have been in Salem. Actually, it may have been in Salem. Probably I can't Salem fucking remember. Trials. But anyways, it was like this family is kicked. Spoiler, half ass spoilers <laughs> for anybody in the audience. <laughs> anyways, uh, they um they get kicked out of their place and like is they they're just taunted by this witch. I'm not gonna spoil the ending that for you. That kind of sounds like Hocus Pocus two that we just watched. Does yeah. it not? They got kicked out of their fucking the little village thing. Oh yeah, but the witch came first before Hocus Pocus two. Oh okay. Gotcha. So I was just Hocus two. Sorry, not mean to throw it in there because I was gonna ask you how y'all like that. If Speaking you of, what do you think about Hocus Pocus two? You know, I didn't think it was horrible. It ain't something I'm watching again, but it was, you know, it was it was cool. It was cool. I'm glad to say they finally did it after fucking 20, how many years? It's probably been a long 20 years. It's been a while. I thought it was meh. You didn't I <laughs> wish. I, I love the beginning part where it was like, uh, an, another spoiler alert. Yeah, you know, if you don't like movies, you just probably need to skip this whole thing. Yeah, just don't listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, do. I'm, t- I'm just playing. <laughs> no. But um, I wish it would have been, I wish it would have stayed as the, uh, whenever they were younger. I uh-huh. wish it would have been a prequel because that, 
whole opening scene was perfect. I love the actresses for so them. You I love the, the whole setup. See the kid version, like yes, I would love to see the prequel. I thought they did amazing. I think it's cool how they had the original people after all these years. That's, That's see what I like. But they ruined the characters, though. How they were too dorky. They were too. They were always dorky. But no, it was hemmed up. This one. Oh yeah. It was. I don't know. I didn't enjoy it. You I didn't enjoy, enjoy the them. musical numbers they've done. There was three goddamn musical. In the numbers. very beginning, I kind of enjoyed the first one because, like, when the kids were like running from the movie, like, well, who are they singing for? And they're like, you. <laughs> I See, I, I I didn't like it. It was too too hokey. No. Too hokey po- Too ho- hokey pokey. Too hocus pokey. I guess, man. I don't know. Maybe it that's cool. the I mean, point. I think it's probably doing pretty good, though. I think. I don't know. I haven't read many reviews about it. I haven't it. Re- read any. I ain't going to lie. I'm just going off of what. I mean, it's just because I think there were so many people that are genera- my, my generation that grew up on it and loved Hocus Pocus 1 that were like, oh, I can't, you know, they had to watch this. Yeah. So, and I'm not, I don't know. It wasn't horrible, but I could have seen some. It could have done better. I yeah. Think. Yeah. I still think it should have been a prequel. <laughs> Other than that, meh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of the movies, was well, uh, the new Hellraiser came out? Just called Hellraiser, so it'll be Hellraiser twenty twenty two. So this is like a reboot, right? Yeah, it's a reboot. 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 Can I give you? My I rebuke you in the name of Can the Hell Priest. I give you my opinion about this reboot of Hellraiser. Yes, mine. Give it to me raw. Mm. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> I, I <laughs> you seem a little too thrilled about that. I'm gonna. I didn't like it. I'm not okay. I'm not gonna say I didn't like it, but I wasn't impressed. I like the old ones better, and I was looking forward to some of the characters that I thought was gonna be in there that we had talked about. You'd showed yeah. me, but it, you know that's our fault. We didn't know. Yeah, that was our fault. Yeah, it was our fault. But it was like, eh, like you, eh. uh, out of one out of one out of four star or five stars, I'd give it like two and a half. I I, I, th- I think I'd call it an even two. No, oh. I think you're right with the two and a half, to be I honest. That's pretty. Time, yeah. Not quite a three, not quite a two. But you were looking forward to this, too. I was really Because you told me about it. it. I didn't know it was coming out until you told me about it. I was very excited for it. Let down. How the, do you feel about the old ones? I love the old ones. I've only seen the first one, and I loved it. Loved it. Are you going wa- to fit the original in your uh, marathon of scary movies this month? Yes. Tonight, uh, uh, Kimberly, she has her other pick. Because I picked two movies back to back. I picked... I can't remember what movies I picked. Anyways, I picked two back to back, and so she did. Ye- yesterday we did. I can't remember. We watched so many now. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, that's gonna be one of my picks. It's gonna be Hellraiser. That's cool. I I seen a a commercial or something that had like the the main Hellraiser guy in the old one. Yeah, dude, and, like he got mad and like he he fucking raised his voice and that just. It's a fucking Doug Bradley. It's so good, dude. It kills it. Makes me scared. Yeah. I'm like, oh, and shit. And with the new one, you know, it's cool how it's a a lady is the main character. She did good. She did good, but her voice just, I mean, she's so calm with everything. I want somebody to get mad, you know? Well, see, I want, you know, like, he got mad, but I want, I'm not sure if necessarily mad, but more authoritative. Mm-hmm. Authoritative? Authoritative? Like being more, yeah. He asserted like, his authority. authority. Yeah. Be a boss. Yeah, pretty much, because <laughs> yeah. you're the motherfucking priest of hell. So what do you think about the whole torture thing, old dude with the nerve thing? Oh, dude, with it, I thought that was a fucking cool-ass design. I didn't know what, I mean, that, that, God, can you imagine? Like, Oh, oh my God, the dude. Shit, that's pretty cool. The concept of shit, the, some of the stuff they did, these guys would be fucked up in the head coming up with this stuff. But there dude, are some it, cool things in there. It is really cool. And then how she said that a gift cannot be given back. It can only be... Exchanged. Exchanged. Yeah. I was and like, that's cool. That's a cool very concept. Very calm, very calm voice. You know, yeah. She wasn't mad about it. She's see, like, I do I do kinda see I do see the benefit of the calm that voice. Right there, where yeah. it's like she knows she's in fucking control. True. She don't need to assert dominance because she knows. True. She don't need to prove shit to you. This is true. So and that and is kind of cool now that, that we're that talking through, about she, it. Yeah. Like she made it very like she was calm and like she wasn't worried about you getting pissed off, mad or doing she anything. worried about shit. She wasn't giving up. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she really wasn't. I think we just changed our minds on that then. Man, but still, though, it just, I don't know. I wanted more, I don't know, I wanted more action and stuff, I guess, for some reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm a gore whore, though. Yeah, and it wasn't enough of it. It yeah. was just like a few couple parts. And the first couple kills was off screen. Yeah, yeah, it, I heard some screaming. What yeah. the mother? <laughs> but we didn't get to shit. Some blood in the sink. 
Yeah. Lord uh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, I'll th- give it two and a half. But the ending kill. I don't want to. I don't want to say this part on the co- podcast because I can't. I guess yeah. it ca- that does ruin it. Well, it's just that man. I think that they did good with like their graphic parts. I guess like. The other characters, how the, they did that the shit. team behind it, cause it yeah. looked like a lot of it. It wasn't at CGI. It looked like a lot of it was like oh, nah, it real looked, effects. It looked really good. Yeah, you could tell. Yeah, yeah it seems like some I actual like levels poured part. into it, which I did like that. I just wanted to see more of it. I guess. Yeah, me you know? too. Yeah, because that was fu- that's what draw me into. It. I was like, man, the characters is what got me. Because like, especially how fucking graphic the first one is. It's like yeah. we can talk about this one freely. It's been out since the g- the nineties. Oh god, man! And I, you know, I need to refresh myself on it because it's been. Years since I've seen it, dude. But it, it's like it's like if you remember whenever they're uh, when she's killing all the people to put him back together, like who I, I, I'm horrible with names, but how fucking gross and visceral oh, exactly. the dude looks. Yeah. It's like oh my god, and the they, ending kill with all like like that fish hook looking things in his face. He's like Jesus wept. <laughs> it's like oh, wasn't shit. it like blood everywhere and like yeah. You know, I mean, they were there was no expense on gore. Like they went all out, and that's a good like you don't. They need to just keep doing that. Start doing that shit again. Make a good fucking old school horror movie. See, I think uh, the new like Halloween, like these new series, they've done good with the kills. Yeah. Speaking bl- of, speaking of that, like you, the series uh, Halloween ends is coming up. Halloween or, ends. How do you Will know? Halloween actually end this time? Exactly. You said this is what series is it? How many in this series is this? Man, <laughs> like number wise. Yeah. Like sh- movies, I thought she said three on that interview we was watching of this well, series. Well, this is its own trilogy. Well, see, what trilogy is this? Well, cause it's these three batches of movies. So the way they do it in, in this universe, <coughs> only the second one and anything a- after never happened, never. So it goes first Halloween, then you got Halloween tw- twenty eighteen, then you got Halloween. But don't she always remember her brother and stuff? Like, don't they always like? Isn't there always like? Uh, we you call it, reminiscence of the old movies and shit? That was the second one. Really? Whenever they talked about that, uh, their brother and sister. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah, they just completely ignore that. Hmm. Which I think sucks. I love that aspect of it. Yeah. It made sense. So they made it But they, they have weren't? changed the story on this one that, like, he just kills whoever's in his way. That but he doesn't give a fuck about her, Lord. though. Like, when she was in there, I'd always felt they were always a family member. Like, there was always a tension there. Well, not in the first one. In the first one, he killed whoever was in yeah, his way. Yeah, he went the original first one, or yeah, 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 yeah. She didn't know that was her brother, did she? Well, according to Halloween 2018, it never was because Halloween two never happened. Bastard. See, that's so confusing, uh, right? See, and that's why I think they need to leave the timeline alone yeah. because it does get very confusing. See, I never looked at it like I didn't know it's how it was like that. Yeah, I just thought they had a bunch of movies. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they do. They got a fuck ton. They do, but it's a hell of a franchise, and they're always gonna make money off that. No matter if they make any more movies or or not, that franchise is always gonna make mo- money. Oh yeah, you know it, it's, it's legendary now. They're set. Hell yeah, that's cool. Yeah, cool. I do enjoy. I am looking forward to. It. I think a- as of recording, we got ten days till uh, Halloween ends comes out. I don't know if it's going to, to theaters or if it's going straight to uh, oh, surely streaming, to, oh, it's which go. I've, been, I've been fucking hating that. So what do you, I want them to go to theater. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I want to go to the theater and watch it because it's such a different experience. Yes, don't take, yeah, I, and it should. Every yeah. Halloween has went to theater that I know of. Yeah. I've never seen one just go, that's too big of a franchise, franchise. Yeah. It, it, and it sucks, like, because that's going to kill movie theaters. Too. And that's going to be a that like very few in the very near future that could be a lost part. I do. Of s- history. I see that too, man. I really do. And how sad is that? It is sad. I, that should be something that, man, we should all have an experience just to get out and go do something. And that right there, as a kid, I always loved that. Yes, you know, always uh, everybody packing up. Hey, we're gonna go watch it. Like a new movie's coming out. We're all really excited. Mm. It's not like okay, let's go sit on the couch. We can watch it because we got it at the click of our finger. It's like okay, let's go. Let's get in the car. Let's go. go. Yes, and I can we're under- all gonna go there buy snacks that you ain't gotta make. Exactly, it's expensive as fuck, I, but you ain't gotta make it. And that's the only <laughs> thing I can I can understand that. Like families, it's hard. It's hard. You know, I understand that. It's a struggle. You know, making this every day. And then when you go to the theater, like like you said, there's snacks and stuff. Like it, it, they are expensive. But you know, eat like beforehand. Yeah, eat beforehand. Eat you like smuggle some snacks if you have to. Do what yeah. you gotta do. But hey, let me tell you, them employees go. don't give a fuck if you got no. some gummy worms in your purse. 
Go take, <laughs> like, once every like fucking month, two months, whatever. Go see a movie or something. Man. Yeah, just just do it. I think it's fun. Yeah, so a classic first date. Yeah, most definitely. Nothing will ever be wrong with it, dude. Yeah, that was. That, I always remember doing that when I was young, like <laughs> first date wise. It was always a movie, and if you think about it, I think movies are the worst thing for dates. Because yeah, you, you gotta can sit there and watch you it. You go talk. You don't get to know each other. Nothing at the end of the movie. <laughs> All right, I had a fun time. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it, really? You don't know if you should go in for a hug or not. Exactly. It yeah. just makes it awkward. Very awkward. You <laughs> had to talk the whole fucking time. You know, <laughs> sharing popcorn. Should we? Should I? Should I? Should I reach for her hand? Or oh, that's I, the nerve. That should that's I accident- nerve wracking. Yeah. Should I accidentally grab for popcorn as she does too and grab her? <gasps> grab her hand and we look at each other at the same moment and catch eyes. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Right, Let out a little hee. Man, I remember yeah, going to the movies like that, though. Young, it was fun. <laughs> You're right. That is a very, very bad first date. It's not looking at it now. Yeah, no. Mm. I'll meet you at the movie house, and then we watch a movie, and fuck, we don't get to learn nothing about each other. <laughs> nothing at all. You watched a movie that yeah. y'all probably didn't even like. Yeah, right. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I'm so nervous when we're thinking about what can I do, what can I do, how do I do this, what, what do I do to make a move, or what. And then I can't watch the movie, I'm like trying to focus, but then I'm, it just ain't working out. I do nothing. Don't even know what the movie's about. Man, for me, <laughs> the most nerve wracking part is like knowing when to go in to hold her hand. Oh, fuck. It's a scary thing. It is. It's like, should I do it? Should I not? It's the first date. Should I go ahead? Should I initiate it? You got, you got people listening to this like, those pussies. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, what dude? What is wrong with yeah, y'all? What are y'all like, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, though, yeah. It's like, I don't know. I never have an anxiety attack up in the movie theater. I, I man, I've, I've dating sucks. I never was good at it. <laughs> Me neither. I'm I am a very lucky man that I found Kimberly so early. Mm-hmm. Thank mm-hmm. God they love us. Right? Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, I'm not letting her go without a fight. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we got way off track. Dude. Sorry about that, guys. That's my fault. I just wandered <laughs> off again. I have a tendency to do that. Man, we both do. It's the point of the podcast, mm-hmm. though. People are listening, though. You know Our subscribers are going up, Christopher. Man, we are. I'm, I'm so proud of us, man. And, and thank and every single one of you. Yes, we'll thank you, guys. You I want to see more comments. Yeah, we need some more Tell comments. Tell us what y'all think about us, Yeah, man. even if it's bad, please yes. do not. <laughs> but <laughs> us. we want to talk to you guys. Yeah, l- be liking and commenting, share our video. You know, you st- we're okay. What today is today? The eleventh, twelfth. Today like that? is the eleventh. recording. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, but we're we're that far into the hol- um, October, so we got we're having like a Halloween thing we're doing for Woo! kids, man. Are you excited about that? I'm very excited. We're doing a hayride for our kids, like for a bunch of kids, and we're just gonna have a good time. Hey, Rod, we're going to scare the crap out of these kids. Yes, we are. I, I plan on scarring them. Yes, we got some Michael Myers, and we got, what are you going to be? I, I I think I'm going to commit to the ghost face mask. Ghost face, heck yeah. yeah. We got little kids, medium kids, <laughs> bigger kids, adults. This is going to be great, man. I want to scare the adults. That's what I'm going for. Mm, I think we can do it. Oh, I, I, I know really I can. can, dude. Yes, we're gonna get it. And, and the thing is, we live out in the country, so they're gonna be in fields and there's trees, woods. Yeah, it's <laughs> you never know what's gonna pop out. Never know, man. It's gonna be fun, man. I'm very excited. I've never done anything like this. Me neither. I'm not, very not excited, excited though. Yeah. Oh man. My nephew, and my sister. Your nephew's gonna be going. coming. Oh, I'm excited. Yes, that's cool. You know, I've been I've been having an inner uh, fight about this. Uh oh. Do I show favoritism and go after him specifically, <laughs> or do I scare everybody equally? Today? Which which I should scare everybody equally, <laughs> but, but that's my nephew. I got a well. Yeah, you can still get a good scare with him. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, oh yeah, you can still get a good scare with <laughs> everybody else. Yeah. You think? Is he know? Has he seen the uh, the mask or anything? Yet? He has. He actually picked it up and put it on. <laughs> was running around with it. You think he'll recognize it? It's you. Uh, no, because I I'm gonna wear a dress. He won't be able to recognize me. Oh, but right, yeah, you gonna wear a dress. But I think, oh yeah. <laughs> but I think he I think he's gonna be excited because he he's he's a Bloomingberg through and through. He, he's a tailor, but he is a Bloomingberg as much as he is, you know. And, and man, he's he's loving your he's loving your new drum kit and stuff you got, dude. Yeah, this yeah. Uh, electric drum kit that my yeah. beautiful wife let let me get. Thank you very much. Uh, you showed me the video and playing it. He is a Bloomingberg, so you may not be able to scare him as easy as you think. Maybe not. He may love it. He may love the scariness because i did but then again though like we're fixing to go to a haunted house your first haunted house and we're gonna see how big of a man you are and we're not going just to any haunted house we are going to talent falls 
Duke of Kentucky, man, and this guy goes all out. I'm I'm very excited. For your I've f- heard nothing but good things about Town Falls, man. Man, for his for your very first haunted house, you're gonna be amazed. It's an intense. I'm very excited. We was looking at they got a TikTok. Me and Kimberly was looking at. We was looking at a bunch of stuff. That it seems really cool. Like a lot of like uh, I'm telling you, it's a uh, yeah. It, it there's a lot into it, man. Yeah, it seems like it's very well put together. Yes, sir. I'm excited. I know, like ever since I was younger, hearing the name Talon Falls. I can't believe you've never been to a haunted house. It's what gives me? It's just it's just never happened for me. But Talon Falls, dude, Talon Falls been going ever since I was a kid. Yeah, that's how long he's been doing this. I th- I think that's so cool. Uh-huh. And around here, the name Talon Falls is enough to strike the fear into any man. It's a good heart. name, isn't it? That Talon Falls, that's a good ass name. <laughs> that, that is. That really is. That's the, that, that's that's cool. And he's not only got one park, he's got three different things going on, don't yes, he? Yes, there's three, and we are going to all three oh, of them. Oh, man. So if I don't piss myself on the other one, <laughs> man. I'm going to piss myself on the first one, shit myself on the second one, third yeah. one, I'm just going to die. I started to say, Dre's going all out on his first time. He's hitting three <laughs> back to back. <laughs> wow. Go, go all or go home, right? That's right. That's true. I give it to you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fun. I'm very excited. It's coming up this Saturday. This Saturday, actually. yeah. We're gonna trot our happy tail down there, and we're gonna go through some haunted house. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're gonna be. Uh, I, I plan on like before. I don't think we're allowed to take pictures and stuff inside of the house, but beforehand, when we're out, we're probably gonna up- oh, upload we're gonna, to our Facebook and stuff. Yes, like we're, we're gonna here. get. Dre's live reaction as we're entering all the stuff as, as much as we can film and put yeah. it on Facebook. Yeah, they just watch me shaking there. I hope we, I hope the we get some tears. On. I hope we get some tears. Maybe. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be a lot of fist clenching mainly. Yes, me being ready but hesitating. Oh man, Dre, I'm nervous about you on your fist. I'm going to be fine. Sure? I'm telling myself I'm going to be fine. He tried to. He almost stabbed me in the face yesterday. I did almost stab you. That was your <laughs> fault though. <laughs> You I walked up behind you. <laughs> I was like, Would you like to tell the audience what you did to me? All I did was I walked up like you were cleaning. You were cleaning something. You were cleaning the the, cleaning uh, the ovens. ovens. Yeah. And then uh, I walked up behind you. I was like, hey, Dre. And as I did, you come up with the fucking like scraper and like held it right to my eye. Like, yes, I did. I could have killed you. I could hear it in your voice now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did tell you I could have killed you. <laughs> I was like, God, yeah. I said, I for sure went home then. But <laughs> yeah, man. So I'm kind of worried for these guys. Mm. That'll be f- oh, well, see, I've had enough uh, preparation time where it's like, okay, Drake. Like, have you seen some of their costumes on their TikToks? I stuff? have. They look cool. They look cool. It looks It looks fun. Not not scary. It looks fun. I know oh, it's like supposed to be scary. Ooh, spooky ooky dooky. But it, it seems like you. a lot of fun. They're gonna scare you. What? Good. I'm <laughs> gonna, I hope so. No, I'm coming. It's gonna be fun, dude. <laughs> it's gonna be a blast. I'm gonna be on best behavior. I'll be fine. I'm not. I'm not gonna be one of those assholes who swings on the. We're gonna have to escort him out before they get halfway through. <laughs> yeah. I'll be crying. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> he just scared me. <laughs> they got some cool shit. Man. They're like, really that's like the it. fucking point. Has Kim ever been to one? She has not. This is also her first experience. Oh man, that's what's behind Kim too. She don't. She's not. She's never. So Christian, either. you're the only person with experience going into this. You are popping all of our cherries. Yes, I'm taking it all. <laughs> man, that's fucking. That's, that's. I can't believe y'all have not been to one. That amazes me. It's weird to think because I, I love horror. I yes. love scary stuff. Like, yeah, exactly. Y'all are into this. Like but absolutely, we are. There's no. I mean, what else? I mean, I would think that would already. You already done that, man. That would surprise me. <laughs> I, that's what I aim to do. <laughs> you have succeeded. I sir. disappoint and let people down on a new way every single day, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get your reactions afterwards, and you're gonna be able, be able to tell all of them about it. Hopefully, I'm very excited because uh, I'd imagine we're, we're, uh, we're going to upload a video on Facebook afterwards to get a fresh. But we're going to talk about it on the podcast too. Oh yeah, most definitely. And I, and I, I, I can't. I hope y'all. Y'all check out the Facebook photos, that, or not photos, but videos that we can put up there. Y'all can see his reactions. Absolutely. And y'all oh. really need to keep up with fa- our Facebook because we're going to be doing a Facebook live stream uh, on Halloween Eve. Oh, <laughs> most definitely, man. <laughs> live. Live. We're going to live. You know, like, we, we do our podcast live anyways. Yes. They're just not live at the time because we don't really edit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this is the first time we've actually been live, live. This live, cool. live. And we're going to be able to talk with y'all. Yeah. Like, which I think that would be cool. We're going to have our ladies as well. Yes. What we got a little different here. segments that we're going to be doing. Mm-hmm. Like, and uh, 
and possibly we're thinking about doing a little giveaway on a shirt Ooh, or something, man. Yeah. Christopher, I think we should do that. You think so? Yeah, get us out. I think everybody deserves a chance to win one. We will tell you all the rules whenever yes, that time comes. Well, definitely, yes. You have to watch the show, though. You have to watch the show to learn how to. That's when we're going to let you know how to win this. Yes, you got to watch the full thing mm-hmm. because we're we're going to put it in at a random spot. Oh yeah, most of it. But it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be spooky. Yeah, we, we got a bunch of fun stuff. We're, <laughs> we're setting up the uh, the set for it right now, mm-hmm. which we're very excited for. Oh man, uh, yeah, Halloween. I love Halloween. I love decorating. Like I got my yard decorated. Let me tell you who I got now. I've got. My, I got the inf- inflatables, you know, like you got the, you got the ghost. I love your ghost. Kim <laughs> keeps threatening to steal it every time we drive by. She better fucking not. I'm telling Christopher, you. Christopher, she. I'm sorry. I may have to square up with her. Well, that's going you between you and her, sir. <laughs> 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 but she has threatened to take that. Uh, but she, uh, we've got, we've got um, Jack from uh, this is characters from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. We got Jack. We got Zero. We got Oogie Boogie. That's our newest member. I love Oogie, 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 Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie, Oogie Boogie, Oogie Boogie. And then we got a mummy. He's not from anything, just a mummy. And uh, I got I got some uh, ghosts hanging from the tree and everything, like floating yeah. around. I got it, the clown mask. He's kind of hovering across the uh, entryway as you pull in. That's cool. Oh, man. And we got uh, uh, the... Uh, uh, what do you call the uh, lights that shine on your house? Like the, uh, oh, uh, what are those called? Man, spotlight things. Spotlight you know? things. Well, th- it's got this has got the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's got like Oogie Boogie and uh, Jack and all them floating around. And y- you know, you could keep all this up through Christmas. Well, this one's got a pumpkin in his hand though. Well, I mean, it's, uh, Jack it's, does. Th- it's still Nightmare Before Christmas it is. though. I told her we just got to put a Christmas uh, hat on Oogie Boogie, and then it's perfect. It's perfect, and because. If you go buy Oogie Boogie Christmas ones, all he's got the fucking like the Santa Claus hat on. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, just th- just throw some Santa Claus hats on these guys. <laughs> 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 no, yeah. your yard looks cool. We got we carved pumpkins, dude. We yeah, did that. that's cool, man. Yeah, I like your ghost out there. Your ghost is cool. He's I so like cool, dude. Ghost. He he just <sighs> he's spooky. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all carved par- pumpkins? Yeah. Did, did you, you not see him when you you walked? I up did the not steps. pay attention. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you do a spooky one or did you do like a fun one? Look, so it's kind of a running bit that like I'm not good at carving. I can't. You've seen my handwriting. I can let. <laughs> I can barely draw my name, dude. You know, it's so like my carving is hilarious. So it's kind of a running joke between me and Kimberly. How like I try my hardest, but mine always sucks. <laughs> Kimberly's is adorable. Did you not have like? Don't y'all trace things or anything, or did y'all just draw oh, it we out? We fucking free ball it. Dude. Oh, y'all free it. Mm. Is yours missing teeth and all that? Mine ain't got no teeth. No. He's just got a mouth. <laughs> 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 He's got a mouth and eyes and nose. Was, was you aiming for like a certain thing? No, I just go for it because oh. I don't have the artistic vision to like draw stuff. It's like my artistic vision is music. Like I yeah. know how stuff's supposed to sound, yeah. but when it comes to like look wise, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I can't draw either. I can't lie. All right, so are, are you not good at carving pumpkins no. either? I have to. We use like I have to get one of those kits. You know, you know what I'm talking about. See, I did that last year. Where it's like it's like a little kids book. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I, I ain't good at it either, man. I've never tried to do it freestyle, like freehand though. So look, you know, I I tried even doing one of the little kids ones. Yeah. I don't understand the mechanism of following like perfect curves <laughs> while you're carving it. I don't fucking get it. I can't do it. You gotta, there's like a saw too. You have to saw it, don't you? Yeah. I, I cannot get like a perfect circle Can't in get, there. That is hard. They, like the pictures they have on there look fucking great. Yeah. Perfect. And I've seen people on their porches have it done like magnificent. Yeah. It's beautiful. But I'm with you, Dre. I can't do it either, man. I, I'll have you take a look at him. I think his name is Herb. Herb, you named him? Yeah. We have not done pumpkins yet. We I, we thought about, I think on that night, we did our Halloween party. We thought about getting some little pumpkins for the kids. They can take home. They can draw on them or carve them if they want to, whatever. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, we're making little baskets for them. Like, that, that's going to be fun, man. They're all, the kids are going to have a f- great time. I'm glad. Uh, me and my family recently went to uh, Beg's Family Farm. <laughs> Dude. Which, that's a local tradition for everybody around this area. They got a little haunted house there. Did you go in it? Yes, we went to that. I don't count that. That's at the Beggs Family Farm. <laughs> I, that don't Did count. Did you jump any? No. Not at all? No, I smiled. 
Look at you. you I laughed at a couple bits because it made me happy. You might, how did they do it this year? I went last year to It's it. the same every year. You Chris. walk in and sit, <laughs> you sit down. And sit like, down on the hay yeah. bales. Let me tell you about these old farms. I respect. Well, it was the first time. I've never seen it before, and l- last year was my first year. And I, I thought it was cool because I've it never is. been in it before. It is very cool. I love it. I love what yeah. they do with it. Yeah, hell yeah. This is fun. But you, you're, you're ready for something different now. I'm ready for we're something inter- adult level. We're going to introduce <laughs> you, buddy. You're, you're, you're going to make some big steps this weekend. I'm excited. <laughs> Nervous, but excited. I can't wait, man. <laughs> Anything else going on? Uh, yes, we got some, some we music stuff going on. Oh, right. that's right. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, my f- probably my favorite thing of the week, th- there is a fan, I can't remember what show it was, who he was in the front row, and he was just grating cheese on the audience. Was it a cheese grater and everything, just going cheese at Cheese grater. Which, how do you get a cheese grater to these yeah, areas? Yeah, don't because they have, like, like, metal detectors and stuff? Yeah, I think that would be considered a weapon. Unless, no, they, I mean, do they make plastic metal, ones? I'm sure they do. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Like, an aluminum. I don't know. They don't use real metal for that shit, do they? I mean, sure. I don't I, I really don't, don't know. I don't know, but why the fuck would you take one in there anyway? I don't know. But it's say I want to be at that show. Were people like, pissed off? I'm assuming they were. Or it seemed like they was having a good time. Chris, is somebody your mouth is agape and somebody is shredding some cheese in there? Do you think that's going to be uh, when you're in that moment? Do you think when you something falls in your mouth like that, are you honestly mm, that's cheese? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you know, okay want to be my first this. thought. I, oh God, what would you? Th- I don't even want to know. Like I, at a concert, like I. But once you see a man with cheese and cheese grater, it still don't make it okay, Dre. <laughs> like, all right, sir, let me take a bite. Give me some cheese, buddy. Oh, man. He's just jumping around, just shredding it all over. <laughs> like, oh. That seems like a blast, though. Man. What kind of concert? I want to know whose concert that was. A good one. That is for sure. Whoever it was. <laughs> I got the cheese. If you got the pasta, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Let's get together. <laughs> That's fucked up, though, but. Each their own, man. <laughs> hey, they had a blast. They made the news. They did. They, they made did. music news. We're talking about them. <laughs> that's so, that's I mean. cool. That's cool. <laughs> I'm just. I can't imagine why you want to do that. But hey, <laughs> <laughs> if I was, can you imagine the band like looking out and seeing that and be like, They're like, what no. the fuck? Look at he doing. <laughs> <laughs> he's having a damn good time. Is what he's doing. I can. I can see him actually just jamming like just fucking just. You think he was going on beat like? I would try to if I was doing it. Oh, absolutely. You? And then what if you got too low to scrape those knuckles? <laughs> Have you ever done that with the cheese grater? Oh, hell like yeah, dude. Oh, got some sucks. Banger, man, that suck. Yeah, it hurts. Like, man, yeah, I've I, gotten like like where it gets like when you're like got multiple fingers. Like, I don't <laughs> like to use those damn things, man. Sketchy. <laughs> they are. I mean, as long as I got a big log, I'll be all right. But <laughs> 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 There's got to be a considerable amount of space between hey. me and in the tool you a line sir for sure <laughs> man also chris are, have you do you ever get tired of just talking about ramstein no man i am loving these guys more and more every day i know i you know i'm sure people are tired of hearing about them they'll be all right but i mean <laughs> I, I, don't care. I, I can't man it's just they are so we apparently their shows are the, are the shit and the guys themselves are just so cool. They are. The uh, guitarist Richard Crusp. Crusp? I don't fucking know. Mm. My first thought is Crusp, though. See, I don't know how to pronounce their names, really. I mean... It, see, I do have German heritage, so I feel like maybe internally it, contacting my uh, ancestors, you I can know, figure yes. it you, out. You should, you should do this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but anyways, he uh, th- they, they were playing a show in Mexico, and he set out just him and his guitar playing uh, Du Hast. Du Hast. Oh, man, like one of their biggest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But he just set up in this crowd. There was no bodyguards around as far as I could see. I wonder if anybody recognized him before he even started playing. Oh, yeah. Like like he set up like there's fans all around. Oh, there was. And he just set up his guitar and was playing with there, walking around, having a good time. That's cool, man. Like how cool. Is he He didn't have to do that. He could have been backstage chilling on his fucking bus, having a good time. Oh, but yeah. He went out to be with the fans. Oh, he went out to be with the fans and played a, a miniature show. I guess you could call oh, I don't I know. Would say, cause for you, them. That's that's cool. And nothing it was not expected at all. Just no. Crazy. It's can a, you imagine it's just being a fan and just seeing him come out and do that as you were walking by or something? Like that's so cool. He was in his full get up. Would too. you have recognized him? Oh yeah. Would you? Oh yeah. You'd you'd be like, Oh <gasps> <gasps> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know, and dude Papa. there's I guess their tours ended and they ended in Mexico, I do believe. I believe so. Man, like 
I don't know if you've watched or seen like the semis and stuff it takes for their shows, like yes. all their equipment. Dude. It is impressive. Oh my god, it's like twenty semis it seemed like. <laughs> like these guys like Wow. I mean it is a a almost like a theater theater theatrical yes there you go thank you i was looking <laughs> for that word oh they're very theatrical with band, music dude. i mean it's just it's great and they seem like they're really like cool people it's impressive they seem very respectful i've seen a lot of videos where at the end of the shows they all take it like a solemn moment not solemn but like the where they thank oh, yeah. the crowd like oh yeah they, they always, bow like, yeah and they thank them yeah you know the the, the lead singer though he like he's He's, he strikes me as a crazy one. He really does. <laughs> he's like, I think he's got some crazy in him. Like, you, Probably. He's, well, they're Ramstein. I think all of them are a little crazy. Yeah, he strikes me I like I don't want to find anybody unpre- from Ramstein. Very unpredictable. Predictable. 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 <laughs> Man, I've grown to love these guys, and I couldn't tell you what none of their music says, but I just <laughs> love them, dude. And I've been watching their, like people that's posted videos of their concerts. He's you know, absolutely their tour. badass, man. Wow, yeah. I miss you, Ramstein. Y'all come back really close. That way we can oh, come please. see you. Come to like a But St. they got to have like Nashville. A, we will take Nashville. Nashville should have to give them like a whole fucking like open field somewhere. For they got the uh, the ta- the Tennessee Titans Stadium. I don't know if that's big enough. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You think it's big enough? Oh, yeah. It's a whole football stadium. Dude, man. Their shit, man. They take a whole lot of room, <laughs> man. <laughs> they got some fucking equipment, man. But it'd be great to see him. It would. Absolutely. It's a bucket list for the yeah. Coffee Vodka yeah. podcast. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Man, I've yeah, I, I seen uh, Serge Tonkin, the singer from System of It Down. Yeah. Wake up! <laughs> Grab a brush and put a little back up. Hot scuffs and better way to shake up. Why do the keys pop table? Where are you going, Gray? You wanted to. <laughs> Anyways, so when Good he's job. like, what? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so when he's walking around the streets just kind of existing, he said that uh, fans have been scaring him. Like doing that? Well, because they'll just go, wake up. It's out of nowhere, I'm sure. Hell. Yeah, and they'll just scare him. It's like, they'll leave him alone. Yeah, let him do his thing. It's, it's like he's existing, man. Yeah, I mean, it would be hard for me not to go up and like say something to him. I wouldn't do something like that. But, God, no. You know, I'd be like, like oh, man. It, such an honor, you know. I'd want to like, yeah. See, me and Kimberly was talking about that. It's like, it's like if I seen a guy like, like I really respect somebody like that. Okay, uh-huh. I'll be like, hey man, like I'd walk with him. I'm not want to stop you. I don't want to interrupt your day. Yeah. Thank you for what you've done. I appreciate you. I respect you. Exactly. I'd get a handshake. Go on be with good. my fucking you'd day. Be, exactly. be excited about it. Yeah. Oh, obviously, dude. Fucking hey, you'd never shut up about it. Oh God, <laughs> no. But man, I've been don't, there, dude. It's cool. They are just people. It's like stopping a random person on the street and doing it, that. It is, man. They ain't nothing but people. They're yes. not gods. They're not anybody like that. You respect I, them, appreciate I mean, was, them. Yeah, I sort of say it does to me. Like it, it means like I don't know. I just meeting people like that for some reason. Just because you've listened to them and you've looked up to them so much, I would never do anything disrespectful or anything like that. But I would do the same like you're talking about. I would like one at least go up and like thank you for everything you've done. Like yeah. You know how much music means to me kind of thing, you know? Yeah. They're just people. Mm-mm. Leave them the fuck alone. Cause I, oh, man. Yeah. You know how, yeah. Like you said, when you see somebody, you want to say something to them. Though. Absolutely. Yeah. You do. Just be respectful. Just be, sure. be chill about yeah. it. You know who isn't respectful, though? Apparently. <laughs> 50 Cent and his son has got some beef going on. Wow. Yeah. 50 Cent and self-proclaimed 25 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> Would Christopher, you, would you mind uh, filling us in? Man, I was <laughs> why in the world would you? First off, why would you call yourself 25 Cent? <laughs> I don't know. Why would you call yourself 50 Cent? Well, it's paid off for him, so he's got, I don't know, <laughs> 25 Cent. Uh, anyway, like what I've seen, I, I'd apparently uh, him and his son has had a falling out, and uh, they don't really spend any time together, but I guess that he was paying uh, 6700 dollars a month on child support and his son offered to give that back to him for just one day of his time to spend and do whatever he wanted to do from like when he was little growing up i guess yeah to make yeah to make up for all the and how time. sad is that it's like damn 50 it is sad do you think 50 never really had anything to do with him at all well i believe in that same interview or in a different one 50 said that he doesn't even love his son no more. i did see that yeah it's, it's like damn dude yeah he just said pretty much i don't have a son yeah like, you don't love him. He like, said he used to, but it's like, shit, man, that's your son. I don't think you're supposed to used to love him. I think I, that's a 
Yeah, I mean, like unless he went on a rampage of doing some horrible ass shit. Gosh, dude, I don't know what that something had to happen. Like, I don't I, know. There's gotta be something we're not here. There's gotta be something else there. But do you think? Uh, you think twenty five cents? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you yeah. know, for him to not like his dad. Well, I guess he does want to spend time with him. I guess it's worth he fifty. He said he got mad son. because his dad told like on an interview how much he pays on child support. You know, and he got mad about that for some reason. He felt like it, sh- it wasn't right, and he shouldn't. There, it wasn't nobody's business, pretty much. Is what I, I mean, was yeah, reading. you know, I agree with that. I, Fifty Cent was probably just saying it to make himself look good. How much I pay, you know? Probably, you know, just flashing more money around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fuck it, you got it, dude. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, but uh, I don't know. I don't get it. Sixty five hundred dollars in uh, child support, though. Twenty five cents should be doing all right. <laughs> <Gage Yeah. either. laughs> Fuck. But apparently he's going through it though. Yeah, he's offered to give it back. He just wants some love. He wants some daddy love. But I thought that was sad though that he's offered to pay his dad just for twenty four hours of his time. It's crazy. Yeah, it is sad. It really is. It's <laughs> like, man, y'all need to work on that shit, and y'all don't need to do this shit public. No. Neither one of them need to be Fuck doing this no. public. That's we should not know about this. No, this is all family issue. Keep it. But here we are spreading it. I know. Yeah, but it's not our <laughs> fault. <laughs> they were. They shared it. We're just talking about it. They did. <laughs> it's like, man, you keep that shit private. Keep your private life private. 50 cent, 25 cent. <laughs> Make it ends meet become 75 cent. Hey. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> 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 the three quarters tour. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I would go see that. That seems like would a blast. You? Go see the three quarters tour. <laughs> I couldn't tell you a single song that. Oh, I know a Fifty Cent song. Uh, I think he does a Nuck if you buck. No. Oh, uh, it's not him. Not him. Who is that? A Nuck if you buck. I do believe. I th- I'm seventy five percent sure. Oh, I think you're wrong. I'm pretty. I'm a hundred percent sure you're wrong. <laughs> Go for it. I got Google, Google right it. here, bud. I want to say it's like Young Bloods, maybe or something. No. I could be off, but it ain't no Fifty Cent, sir. What do you want bet? Oh. I'd say you are correct. <laughs> it is by Crime Mob. Crime Mob. Dang it. I don't know why I said, yeah, Crime Mob. So I yeah. could have sworn that was a... Nuck if you buck. <laughs> I'm sure there's same, a 50 same cent air. song. Oh, there's... I know there's Candy Shop. You ever listen to that with Lil' Kim? No. Oh, no. Okay, I know that one. Welcome to the Let me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's certainly not my area of music. Oh, I've yeah. fallen out of the folk, by the way. Oh, you're out of I'm, I'm going to punk rock. Hell, yeah, that was very short-lived. I'm sorry to disappoint you. <sighs> hmm. Hey, you had somebody that kind of aggravated you today. It kind of made you mad. Who? Uh, one of our co-workers, I guess you say, was asking about an artist that he didn't think you would know nothing about. Oh, my God, the <laughs> fucking bastard. <laughs> Like it, it, he brought it up. I so can't believe casually. how mad you got though. Man. I can't believe I did either, and I still am. Well, so I took it as disrespectful because this guy he walks up. It's like well, we know him, and he's like, uh, he's talking about he's going to go see this artist. He said, "Yeah, you probably never heard it of him. He, it's Billy Strings." I was like, first off, motherfucker, who the fuck told you <laughs> that I'm not going to know who the fuck you're talking about? Because guess what, I motherfucking did, and I told him how much I knew about this bastard too. Yes, sir. I th- <laughs> Piss me the fuck off. It's like, why do you think that th- I don't know him? What about me says that I don't know him? You just don't look like you're that's profiling. You don't look like you're, that's your genre of music. But you're an open-minded artist, so you, you're you open-minded to all music. So yeah. That's what people don't understand. You know, like, you can look at some people and are like, oh, you can tell what kind of music you think they look. Yeah. Listen. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's what he was doing. He was musically profiling you. Yes, he was. Well, I was like, you bastard. Mm. It's, I don't know. I felt like he was downplaying my educational music. I'm not the smartest person on the music, but I know my fair share, I believe, anyway. When he told me that, too, I said the same. I was like, oh, man, I like him. I was like, my favorite song of uh, uh, Billy Strings is uh, Dust in a Baggy. I was like, I love it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. I was like, I mean, but he's re- like talented. Did he tell you that, too? Did he say oh, yeah. you probably don't know who no, he, he is? No, he didn't say that to me. Oh, say. oh, so it's me. <laughs> Oh, oh, this motherfucker. Well, I want to have a word with him next time I see him. Oh, or man. two. That's he's in funny. this podcast. I was already saying, he's listening to this. He said that he listens to it. Yeah. So, sir, if you are fucking listening right here, right now, let me tell you, I fucking know who the fuck you're goddamn talking about. <laughs> you really struck a nerve with him, sir. I don't know why it did. I don't know why it's affecting I me. I come the way back it there, did. like, where he was at, and he's like, you know what he, you know what he said to me? <laughs> I was like, oh, God, what? I just felt disrespected and attacked. He did. He don't did. come at me about my knowledge of music. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, man, but you do know. You're, you're cool with it now, though, right? No. But hopefully y'all can settle this next truck, all right? Hopefully. <laughs> this this uh, next beef. Yeah, next beef. You'll miss next truck because you're going on vacation, sir. Yes, I am. Look We're going to you. Yo Gatlinburg. Oh, man, look at you. Never been before. Never seen mountains before. I'm very excited. Oh, rocker going to the mountains. Yeah. Yeehaw. Going to go up to Tennessee, Tennessee mountains. Do, 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 do. I need to buy me a banjo so I can play the banjo hey, on the you mountains. Get up there. Maybe if you find one, get you one. I will. And right. just being on top of the Tennessee mountains, I'll have like these ungodly powers to play the banjo, and I'll never be able to play it again. <laughs> As you're up there, like lightning will hit your fingertips. <laughs> the <laughs> devil presents me with a golden banjo. <laughs> yes, and you're gonna go, just rock it out. I can see it. <laughs> Hell yeah, sir! I hope y'all have a good time, though, man. I appreciate it. I'm v- we're very excited. Yeah. So this this right here, I guess, is gonna be last episode till the Halloween special, right? Or no, we, we'll have we, another one. Out are before, we gonna really? Okay. I, was, well, I mean, leaving, today's only the eleventh. But you're leaving on vacation, though. So I mean, we're probably going to wind up recording another one so we can put one out then. Oh, okay. I guess he likes you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just I like it. And I appreciate you guys. And I just like yeah. doing podcasts. Yeah, that's cool, man. I just didn't know. But yeah, for sure. Hopefully, hell yeah. We'll get some, we'll get like two, a couple more in Absolutely. this month. Hell yeah. I, I don't want to miss a week. I don't want to miss a week. And I don't want <laughs> to miss a thing. Say, hell yeah. I started to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> we could have duetted that, Chris. We could have, man. Oh, but you, you was nailing it. I didn't want to interrupt. I appreciate you, you it. Doing good. It would have sounded better with you in it, though. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> but I guess we're going to call it a night, man. I believe so, Christopher. Well, as always, it's been fun, guys, and we appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and uh, we shall see you next time. See you later, guys. Later, guys. Thank you.